Hey guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here bringing you a bonus video. The top nine Star Wars movies and my next video will be a roller coaster video. But I will be ranking the top nine movies and yeah, rank giving grades on the overall categories I put up on here. So yeah, moving on we have at number nine, Star Wars Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. So Overall, this movie was just, it felt way longer than it was for the actual duration. There were only a few really good action scenes, and the rest of the scenes were just kind of not really good, or just meh, or bland, or something like that. And overall, the villains, we didn't really see much of Palpatine. Count Dooku was kind of like the main villain, as well as Jango Fett. Jango Fett was pretty cool to see, and then... Yeah, there was a pretty cool scene with the Jedi versus the clones, and we saw the Death Star plans in Episode 2, and yeah, the pacing was just garbage, I just, that was some of the worst pacing I've seen in the movie, like, borderline a fail for the pacing. The characters could have been better, action there were only a few really good action scenes, and then the rest of the movie was just not really that great. And then the lightsaber battles actually were pretty good with the Jedi battle. Basically, the action is basically carried by the lightsaber battles. The ending battle between the Jedi and the clones, and then the lightsaber battle between Count Dooku and Anakin and Obi-Wan were pretty cool. And then the Death Star plans were revealed, and there was an asteroid field, Jango Fett and Obi-Wan went through, so yeah. Number eight, we have the Phantom Menace, and we saw some pretty cool characters. We saw a young Anakin and a young Padme. We also saw Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, Palpatine, Jar Jar Binks, who I think is pretty an, a pretty underrated character, and Darth Maul was the ultimate evil villain. He was a really cool villain with a, the double lightsaber, is basically two on two basically because of the double lightsaber it had to be Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul and we saw Palpatine in this movie as well so overall the pacing could have been better but the characters were done pretty solid in my opinion the action as well was pretty good and the lightsaber battle between Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Darth Maul was amazing. That was a, an awesome battle, and there were some pretty cool lightsaber-related parts in the movie. But that lightsaber battle was definitely one of my favorite lightsaber battles in the whole Star Wars series of movies. And there was a pretty cool pod race, and then Anakin blew up a huge space station. Not the Death Star size, but still pretty big. Number seven, we have Rogue One. This is a pretty cool movie. It's not in the actual, like, any of the trilogies, but it occurs closer to Episode Four than Episode Three. So it's closer to the time of the Empire than the Sith. So you have a, a pretty decent selection of characters as well as some pretty cool action as well and the Death Star. The pacing was pretty good in this movie. The action was also very nice, and the characters weren't bad. In the last 15 minutes, with the Darth Vader, Vader rampage, the director Krennig and Vader confrontation was also a pretty good part of the movie, and then Jin stopping director Krennig and getting the light, the uh, Death Star plans over to the good guys on Leia's ship. That was pretty cool. Overall, very cool movie. But it's not as good as the top six. Number six is episode six, Return of the Jedi. And this was a very cool movie with tons of great characters. The original trilogy has the best characters in my opinion. You had the second Death Star. Pretty cool. You had Palpatine, Darth Vader, Chewie, Han, Leia, Luke, C-3PO, R2-D2. And overall, very awesome movie. And you also had Lando at the end. They're destroying the Death Star. Like the pacing though is kind of the big problem for me with this movie. It didn't really feel fast paced. Like after the Jabba scene, the movie just dragged quite a bit. 
The characters and the action were done very nicely, and the lightsaber battle between Luke and Vader at the end of the movie, or towards the end of the movie, was very good. Stopping Jabba the Hutt in the beginning of the movie was pretty cool. The scenes with Palp Palpatine in them, Emperor Palpatine, either him or Vader is my favorite villain. I haven't really decided yet for uh, my favorite Star Wars villain. The second Death Star destruction, Vader's sacrifice, and then Lando destroying it. That was really cool. And I didn't really like the Ewoks in Episode 6. Number 5, we have Episode 7, The Force Awakens. And overall, this was a really cool movie. We got to see some new characters, Finn, Rey, Kylo Ren, BB-8. And we saw some recurring characters, Han, Leia, Luke... And Darth Vader was mentioned, and we saw Snoke and Maz as well as new characters. That was overall... This was a pretty similar movie to A New Hope, but overall a pretty cool movie to bring back Star Wars after over 10... After like around 10 years of waiting, after Revenge of the Sith, we finally got a new movie. And this, The Force Awakens, definitely a pretty good movie. The lightsaber battle could have been done better, but the pacing and the characters were very good, and the action was pretty solid, but there was nothing that really stood out for me. Everything was just pretty good and solid, so. Next, we have The Last Jedi at number four, and this is a really cool movie, the newest Star Wars movie. Just came out in 2017, December of 2017, and we got introduced to one of my favorite creatures in the whole entire saga, the Porgs, really cool. You had a new character introduced in Rose, who helped out Finn. You had Kylo Ren and Rey can, using the Force to talk to each other from a long distance away. You had Leia and Luke returning to see each other. That was really cool. And then the battle between Luke and Kylo Ren was an awesome lightsaber battle. And you also had Snoke in there as well. The pacing, it was a long movie, so it was could have been better, could have been worse. The characters were, some of them weren't done as well, in my opinion. There are a few characters I wasn't really a fan of, like the casino characters, and a few other characters that were on the, um, basically the Republic ships or the Rebellion. The action was amazing, and the lightsaber battles were amazing in this movie. Rey and Kylo versing the guards, and then Rey and Snoke confrontation. Kind of similar to the Emperor and Luke. The Porgs, basically. Luke versus Kylo Ren, and then the first 15 minutes was pretty cool with the bombers and the dreadnought. Number three, we have A New Hope, Episode 4. And this was the original Star Wars. You had some very good characters. Definitely the best. Some of the best like I said earlier, the original trilogy has the best characters. Yeah, and you had the original lightsaber duel between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader and my favorite explosion in the whole Star Wars saga with the original Death Star explosion. And they updated it from a, just a basic explosion to kind of like a ring-style explosion. It kind of looks like one of the gas giants in the outer parts of the solar system basically exploding with the ring around it. But the Death Star, pretty cool. The lightsaber battle between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader wasn't the greatest. But the action was very good. The pacing was pretty solid as well. And the characters were by far the best part of this movie when it comes to those four categories. But my favorite parts were the final battle with the Death Star, rescuing Leia, and then Luke looking into the sunset was definitely the most iconic part of the movie. Number two, we have Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, and this was basically a huge thing where Anakin went from the Jedi with Obi-Wan and Yoda to the dark side of the Force, the Sith slash the Empire with Emperor slash Senator Palpatine. And you had General Grievous as a pretty cool villain in, in there, and Count Dooku and him both died in this movie as I would say, and you had an amazing lightsaber battle. No, a ton of amazing lightsaber battles. Anakin versus Count Dooku. Anakin and Obi-Wan versus Count Dooku. 
the Emperor and Yoda, and then Anakin and Obi-Wan, both in their primes, versing each other. And we got to see Darth Vader at the end of the movie, and then Luke and Leia going, being born, and then going to Luke going to Tatooine, and then Leia going to Alderaan. So, pretty cool. And then Yoda and Obi-Wan parted ways at the end of the movie. Yoda went to the Dagobah system, and then Obi-Wan went to Tatooine with Luke. So, yeah, the pacing was amazing. Characters, amazing. Action was amazing. But the lightsaber battles were the best part with the stats. And then the Darth Vader scene, all the lightsaber battles were awesome. And then Anakin spying on Palpatine, and he was slowly being turned throughout the movie. And number one is Empire Strikes Back. Amazing characters, amazing action, just such an awesome movie. The first 40 minutes of this movie is just pure Star Wars with epic fights, flying through outer space, spaceships, it's awesome. And the battle between Luke and Darth Vader on the lightsabers is also a really awesome part of the movie. The pacing was pretty solid. But I would say the characters, action, and lightsaber battles were all just amazing. The first 40 minutes was just action scene after action scene after action scene. Amazing. The asteroid field was cool. Emperor and Vader confrontation was a really cool part of the movie. And as you saw in the pictures, it was changed from 1980 from a weird looking emperor with a terrible voice to the emperor we know today. And then Luke versus Vader in a lightsaber battle. That was really cool. And then we got to see Lando for the first time and a light speed jump at the end of the movie. So, yeah, really cool. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more roller coaster videos coming soon.